So I picked up the Genius Place setting powder in um I had no idea that I picked up three shades of the Julius Place Foundation. I picked up Tanzania, which is 205. I picked up Burkina, which is 310. And I picked up Togo, which is 210. I have no idea. So I'm going to be swatching this for you guys on my face. I also picked up two concealers. The um, concealer in 10 and the concealer in 3. And I also picked up the setting powder. This foundation does really feel soft. I'm going to use another finger. That's Tanzania. And this one is 210 Togo. This one is 210 Togo. Um, Togo does look dark. Togo. That's Togo. Togo is really dark. Um, really dark. I'm going to swatch Burkina 310. I'm going to swatch Burkina. Burkina 310. Hmm. That's Burkina. Hmm. Burkina 310 is very bright, like it's not my shade. Hmm. So this is Tanzania, this is Togo, and this is Burkina. Obviously Burkina looks brighter than my skin tone. I'm thinking Tanzania 205, 205 would be my shade. So that's the shade that I'm going to go with in this video. These other ones, I could just mix the, like any of the foundations with um, Burkina to get like a shade that would suit me more much better as you can see I have dark spots I have a lot of hyperpigmentation going on on my skin and this foundation claims that is full coverage before I would use like um, a, um, a concealer to cover up the hyperpigmentation that I have but for this foundation I'm I'm just trying to trust this foundation to cover up all the hyperpigmentation that I have on my skin. So I'll be going in with the shade Tanzania 205. And I'll be using the Juvia's Place brush that I picked up which looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to use this. The handle is long. It's pretty. So it's very soft. You guys, it's a very soft and thick foundation so first I'm going to put it here I think this might be a little bit too dark for me let's see just lay it out hmm. Feels very good. <sighs> I feel like this foundation is a bit dark for my skin tone. What do you guys think? I 
Okay. I'll finish up with my face. I'm trying to trust this foundation. Okay. And I'll use this for this side. You can see I have that huge hyperpigmentation going on on that side of my face. So, let's see if she would cover it up. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. My scars are getting finished. Good lord. Whoa. Oh my god. Did you guys see that? Like. Wow! Wow! Of all the foundations that I have, there is no foundation that has covered up the hyperpigmentation that I have on my skin. This is one of those foundations. Oh, good lord. Thank you, Judas, please. Like, like, you guys, I'm so surprised because this is the only foundation that, like, I could still see like, a little bit of the hyperpigmentation that I have on here. Which, if I go with another layer of this foundation, is going to completely cover that up. I am so surprised, y'all. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I'm going to do just one more. On there. On there. My God. Wow. It is really good. And I'm just gonna like dab like so. I'm just gonna do it like that. I'm not doing this. I'm just doing it like so to cover it up. The consistency of the foundation is thick. And it's soft, very soft. Wow. So this foundation is available at Ulta. Um, in case you want to buy it, I got mine online from their website. It is a full coverage foundation, like y'all. I picked two shades, which looks like this. I picked up this one to contour. This is in the number three, and I picked up the shade number 10. I'm gonna use this one to contour, I'm so happy. And I'm gonna use this to highlight under my eyes and my forehead. You guys, this is definitely lighter than the foundation, it does feel light. Okay. And the applicator is kind of big. The shade finder on your website for me is not helpful if you're buying um, the foundation from your website. The shade finder on there is kind of confusing. Not really confusing, but it's not enough to, it's not enough for you to pick uh, an actual shade for yourself. For instance, if you have that Sephora app and you're trying to shop for foundations, on their website it like gives you an idea of it asks you a foundation that you're currently using and then it would match you with the foundation that you're about to buy in that shape if that makes sense but here on Juvis Place website is kind of different you know so it was a bit hard 
for me to pick my actual shade and when you get through it and when you buy anything from your website you you cannot they don't accept returns they do not accept returns so just so you know whatever you buy you're not meant to return it you're meant to own them <laughs> okay Wow, my face doesn't feel dry, like it doesn't feel really matte. It's just like, like creamy. Like, I wish there's a better way to explain it, but it's not completely matte. It's, a, it's like, it's kind of a soft matte foundation. Like, it gives you like a soft matte look. It's a very beautiful foundation and the concealer paired with it together is really good I'm gonna use my concealer oh this is really dark so we gonna be careful with this this is very dark this like so Okay. Hmm. Wow. I'm looking kind of snatched. So I picked up the Juvia's Place Setting Powder in Kalahari, which looks like that. So the powder looks like this. It kind of reminds me of the is it Benign Setting Powder. I own one of those. I used to use them before. powder feels a bit light but I love the shade that I picked up guys this is the finished look from the Juvia's Place foundation concealer and setting powder I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like subscribe let me know in the comments what you think about this like the shade of the foundation swatches that I did hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching see you in my next one bye